behalf of associate professor indian institute of management iim lucknow uttar pradesh on this webinar on scope of entrepreneurship development in aquaculture and fisheries organized by idp cell and college of fisheries gadbarsho sir we are very much thankful to you that in spite of your busy schedule you accepted our proposal and you are just going to uh, deliver the lecture before uh, starting the formal uh, lecture i want to introduce you with our students with our faculties dr shobhasachi sina an eminent academician and researcher pursued his bfsc from faculty of fishery sciences west bengal university of animal and fishery science kolkata masters from iit dhanbad and phd in business policy and strategy from iim ahmedabad dr sina has over 17 years of professional experience in the field of marketing management business and corporate strategy corporate inno innovation and entrepreneurship presently he is working as associate professor at iim lucknow before joining iim he has worked with us and european multinational organizations he has coordinated several training programs as director for group a service officers jointly with leading global institutions such as london school of economics and cambridge university he is a mentor to several early stage technology startups and invited as management expert speaker on <coughs> national media apart from his administrative assignments he also guided several postgraduate students and published more than 70 research papers in different journals of national and international reputes so once again sir i welcome you in this webinar and request you to kindly deliver your lecture please sir you are muted uh, please unmute yourself yes yes, yes. okay good so professor tatta very uh, good morning and good morning to all of you and uh, a great uh, thank you to your dean and your university and uh, you for organizing this and any of your other colleagues who have been part of this and um, uh, even before i start my uh, you know discourse uh thank you to all your students to you know, come up from their beds and you know get up to listen to this in actually winter morning it's pretty cold here as well so i'm calling from one l to other l so uh it's also pretty chill here and uh, uh so thank you very much uh, any time i get an opportunity to uh, talk to a fisheries uh, faculty or a fisheries uh, set of students i feel like homecoming because right now i am not into the field of fisheries so much i have uh, some um, engagement in terms of uh, you know uh, policy making and all but otherwise i am um, off it since a long period of time so whenever i talk to people like you and your students uh, i feel like homecoming so it's great um, to be among all of you i hope uh, the talk uh, brings some interesting thoughts uh, in heads of your students and uh, they use it to make important strategic choices in their lives uh, so that is the tone with which i would like to start give me just a couple of minutes to put the video on uh, yes. share my screen yeah
I believe the screen is visible. Yeah, sir. Screen is visible. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, before I start, uh, in case you think that there is uh, any query uh, during the talk, uh, I am okay with taking that up. And uh, you can also have uh, some of the queries uh, at the end of the discussion. Uh, yeah. Let me see if I have this chat box. Student may ask your questions in the okay. chat box only, sir. And at the end of your talk, we can discuss. Yes. And put on the chat box as well. So, uh, Professor Surju, can you just uh, give me a ping message on the chat box so that I see if things are coming or not? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we will we will coordinate sir, in the chat box sir. okay good yeah, yeah. yeah so i'm able to see it. everything yeah. will come yeah. okay very good so let me give you a first uh, quick snapshot of how our campus uh, looks like mm. right, so this is uh, a few snaps of the campus so i thought that it is always good to talk to people you know face to face but when you cannot then pictures can tell a few set of stories so i thought uh, how do i connect with you so I'm showing you just a couple of snaps, and uh, you know, as I talk to several other fisheries graduates, and I talk to them, uh, you know, one of the other reason of putting this up is uh, this institute also has uh, agribusiness program, and uh, either from your college or from any other fisheries college, I don't see any people joining here, right? So I think uh, this is not a bad place to get in. So you may also like to give a try to get into the programs, uh, the full-time MBA as well as the agribusiness MBA program here. Um, uh, it, it might give your career a, you know, interesting flight. So, uh, so one of the, because another reason is that, uh, you know, rather than giving you a lot of yarn, one of the reason of uh, the way how, how I have prepared the talk is uh, I want to really uh, let your dreams uh, take a flight, okay? And um, have some words which may help you to motivate. Uh, so this slide is largely in that direction. Okay, so, uh, you know, so how I have designed the talk is, we will talk about uh, broadly around what is entrepreneurship uh, in a layman's language, okay? We, I will not go into too much of theory, theory and all. So I'll try to explain it in more simpler terms. Uh, so what is entrepreneurship? What kind of ecosystem do we have in India in largely? Um, why is it becoming so interesting largely for the agri sector uh, and the face of entrepreneurship is shifting uh, in India as well as globally? And then gradually move on to the discussion on how is it like uh, for fisheries and aquaculture based entrepreneurship? what kind of things are happening. So give you a quick snapshot of that. Uh, one hour is too short uh, because you know, I have, uh, I take courses on uh, broadly on topics of tech startups and all. So those courses are 30 hours or so, but uh, here it, the idea is just to give you, uh, let your dreams take a flight. And the second part is give you a snapshot of what's happening around even in the world of aquaculture and entrepreneurship. So, you know, uh, one of the, uh, so let me take up, you know, for, from some of you, uh, you are seeing one of these slides. I'll try to help you understand, you know, how this slide is connected to uh, entrepreneurship. But um, any of you give me a quick understanding of what do you understand by entrepreneurship? What do you understand by entrepreneurship? Dear students, please. So you can just quickly write on the chat box so I get an idea about you know, what are your views and yeah. what do you understand by that. And all these students, feel free to write whatever you want, even if it's wrong, it's fine. Uh, and you know, I get my nourishment feed only from when you respond. So whatever you think. You can write whatever you want. I mean, whatever your views are, what is entrepreneurship?
starting one's own business very good very good very good amanda uh, any any other any other views that you have anybody else anyone else so largely it is uh, you start your own business and that is known as entrepreneurship any any other views okay so then let let me take you uh, to a little more holistic view about uh, anupam kamboj yes anupam yes go ahead you can just quickly uh, you know share what your uh, views are on the chat box okay so uh, you know um, usually if you see the uh, understanding about entrepreneurship uh, in the uh, general parlance you would see that we refer to as something what uh, amanath has talked about that this is largely about trying to open up one somebody's uh, own venture or a business uh, however let me define it in a little more uh, holistic manner you know so i use this definition which is written in front of you as a definition of entrepreneurship and i'll help you to explain why it is so uh so you some of you might have already heard about this uh, shloka this is um, uh, you know seventh verse of chapter 4 and it reads as yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthana madharmasya tadatmanam srijami ham paritranaya sadhu na vinashaya chatushtam dharma santhapna thaya sambhavami yuge why is it that i am referring to this as a definition of entrepreneurship so there has been one of the economists called shum peter uh, and he is a, a very very celebrated economist and he had referred to a term called creative destruction so you know all this that we are seeing in the world of um, you know tesla and the world of google are referred to as creative destruction meaning what that these are companies which are destroying the existing order and creating new orders so this economist chum peter he referred that any economy cannot grow unless there is creative destruction in the uh, in that economy so only when there are uh, people who are entrepreneurs and who creatively destroy the existing equilibrium they help in bringing a new order and that propels the economy for the next 5 or 10 years so you constantly require such kind of entrepreneurs to come arise awake and then take up uh, you know a course of action and uh, reset the equilibrium so if you look into the depth of this uh, shloka as well that as and when there is glani meaning pain it should be it's not optimum and uh, uh, surjo i hope i am uh, audible and this uh, yes sir okay okay great uh please continue yeah okay great so uh, in case there is uh, you know because it's over internet so you don't realize at times that you know whether you are talking and somebody is uh, able to listen to you or not uh, so i i'm keeping my whatsapp as well on so in case there is an issue just uh, drop me a message on the whatsapp uh, in case you are not able to hear me or uh, there is a disability on the internet okay so uh, uh you know what i was saying was that as and when there are pains as and when there are cribs as and when there are adharm it requires a krishna rupi entrepreneur to emerge and uh, challenge that this is not how the kansas should be operating right so see here kansa as a inefficiency model uh she see here kansa as something because of which there are a lot of pains in the uh, you know in the environment so to Uh, eradicate that pain to establish that dharma it requires an entrepreneur to come up again and again and challenge the existing entrepreneur as in you know business ecosystem and establish new orders of the day okay so entrepreneurship is not just uh, it may not need to be necessarily seen as opening up new businesses but um, it's about challenging anything which is inefficient and trying to do something new now same definition can be applied to business as well and i'll tell you why you know i love this uh, as a you know so i have been uh, into entrepreneurship and startups since about more than 10 years 
and i haven't found any other academic uh, definition to be better than this and in the next slide again i'll uh, you know help you to understand why i was saying so and i use this as a definition because that helps you to remember what is entrepreneurship it helps you to remember that entrepreneurship can be done beyond business it helps you to remember that you require a krishna rupi will power and dream to take on something like entrepreneurship it requires it involves a lot of challenges however it gives you an opportunity to be a god okay because god can correct things god can give employment god can take care of food of others so entrepreneurship gives you an opportunity to be like somebody like god people treat you like god annadata hai aap right so that is what entrepreneurship that is the power of entrepreneurship okay uh so as a, you know so after you know a couple of slides you know i will uh, ask for the students to uh, you know raise uh, whether you are listening to me you know so even if you don't want to answer me just type in yes so i know that you people are there otherwise in the world of uh, you know this zoom talking it feels like you are talking to yourself uh, you know you know in a classroom you at least see people even if they are sleeping but you at least see somebody here you don't see somebody right so you are talking to a slide and then you keep on talking then after one hour you realize that nobody is listening you know so you keep on saying that if i ask you a question do you follow are you enjoying um, or if you are not liking say i am not liking so write something on the chat box that gives me a feel that you know people are there okay great so uh, so this is again students they can unmute themselves and uh, ask something yeah they can unmute themselves and can also yeah. ask Uh, unless it uh, creates uh, you know too many people talking at the same time but you can al always do that and you can uh, ask or you can put up any uh, you know question uh, in a chat box if not anything then just write yes no we are there <laughs> okay yeah. so or uh, okay i'll give you one more uh, interesting uh, you know thing that i do in class so after some time when people are dozing off i say how is the josh and people say hi you know so and uh, that can go well in ludhiana as well right so as and when i feel that i am getting dosed so i'll say how is the josh and the student some of the student types i okay so that tells me that yes you are you are there okay, great so let's see you know what what is it that i'm talking about entrepreneurship okay and please uh, even if you don't need to remember you know that entrepreneurship is a process of opening up a business through this 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 process and innovation and that that you don't need to remember this just remember the basics and that will help you to identify what to do how to do everything okay so another simple definition of entrepreneurship is that it's a journey of from idea to commercialization okay that you you have an interesting idea you make a product or service out of it or a business model out of it and then you commercialize commercialize meaning not that you only make money out of it but a lot of people accept that as a valuable service or a product it's only then that they are going to pay for it okay so commercialization means the first level of commercialization means adoptability people have adopted people are loving people are delighted with your service and the product okay so it's a journey from idea to commercialization of an idea okay so which means that it doesn't just requires technical skill one of the reasons why we do not see many of the you know outputs so it's not just with icr labs but i work with a couple of csir labs as well one of the problems why many of the interesting innovations or rather it's not innovation the appropriate term is invention uh which gives you patents but they don't end up in businesses it only focuses on the technical part of the you know job you know suppose you have come up with a great interesting species of tilsa you know which can be reared in pond let's assume that now uh, just coming out of that technology doesn't helps you to realize that whether it will make business or not right so there are two parts of that box one technology and second is making business out of it so without technology an interesting business may not happen but without business also your technology will not survive only technology never sells the value that you create as an output of that technology sells you know so the entrepreneur has to take up this journey from idea to commercialization of an idea uh and that tells me that um, when you want to get into entrepreneurship i think there are a whole lot of uh, technologies already lying up with a lot of fisheries uh, training institute sorry you know research institutes as well so i think one of the ways how you can pursue entrepreneurship is 
try and figure it out all these uh, you know innovations which has inventions which has happened in the icr fisheries uh, institutes uh, you know maybe sept or maybe um, you know siba or any of these places can i commercialize that can i commercialize that and make business out of it right so that's that's obviously one of the potential areas where you can look at okay? so it is it is also a process of uh, steering the boat through the rough sea during the journey from the idea to commercialization and one who is able to do that is an entrepreneur so you know i i use the language of a sailor so that it fits with you know um, so you must be having you know i remember you know some of the courses of fisheries engineering so you must be having some something close to nautical science sciences you know tying the knot or wo kaise you know now lagana hai and how to make a boat and how to make a hull of a boat etc right so just to you know i when i was typing this i was reminded of a couple of courses on fisheries engineering and therefore i use this statement that it's a sailor you know who and you know i have deliberately used boat not ship so startup is and you can understand it is easier to steer a ship in a rough weather sea but it's more difficult to or aapke sare jo machhware hote hain wo ship leke nahi chalte hain na they move around with boats and moving around with boats in rough weather is even more difficult right so it showcases not just the journey but the challenges which are involved in that so you have to be a really a, you know uh, a romantic guy romantic doesn't means only uh, people who pursue love stories okay romanticism also means people who love adventures so guys who are entrepreneur are adventurous and uh, therefore this this point showcases the adventurous nature of uh, the entrepreneur and one who is able to go through this rough weather of idea to commercialization is an entrepreneur now the third important point is uh, entrepreneurship is not just business entrepreneurship so even in academics today you are you are you, we are using terms like political entrepreneurship academic entrepreneurship cultural entrepreneurship so that tells you uh, social entrepreneurship okay so that tells you there are several dimensions of entrepreneurship and if you remember the previous uh, you know um, uh, explanation that i gave you from bhagavad gita that tells you that these dimensions are uh, these dimensions are that these dimensions are needs to be so the entrepreneurship needs to be defined from a more holistic point of view and holistic meaning that uh, as and when you see problems around you that should ring a bell that there is a possibility of entrepreneurship. okay so now you know um so now let's let's look at you know how do you identify scope for entrepreneurship right so one of the ways of identifying scope for entrepreneurship and you know this connects with the definitions that we have already given aapko jis bhi cheez ke bare mein professor datta uh, they are good in hindi as well no yeah yeah they can understand hindi also okay very good so as and when you have cribs jab aap kisi cheez ke bare mein complain karte ho you know and you must be complaining you know you must be complaining about your crops not teaching so well you must be complaining about your hostel facilities you must be complaining about wifi quality you must be complaining about roads you must be complaining about you know this that etc you know the you know the, the world doesn't understand us you know the, the government is not providing enough facility to us so you must be cribbing you know in general about so many things and as and when you crib okay you realize that these are market and institutional inefficiencies so if you go to a mall and you don't get a product which you desire is a market inefficiency if you are trying to look for healthcare facilities and the government has not provided good healthcare facilities it's an institutional inefficiency you must be knowing that you know um, ye, uh, there are all these you know stubbles in the farmlands and uh, people burn it and then you know it creates pollution now you creep about it right that um, either the farmers creep about it that you know we are not getting a good solution to take care of this the other people who are sufferers they, they creep about the pollution so you know that this is a problem so any problem or pain that you have is essentially a scope to become an krishna okay see that as a kans anything which is inefficient see that as kans and then you can see yourself as an entrepreneur who can come and solve this problem okay so anything in the world that you complain about is a potential source of entrepreneurship so identify 
in the world of fisheries that what are the issues that you complain about okay that you don't have a good quality of uh, you know vessel which can go for long distance shipping or you do not have uh, you know a good facility for warehousing or you do not have good packaging facilities uh, anything um, yeah so I, I'll, I'll come up uh, the pain. Uh, um, so I, I'll so I'll come up to some of those. Somebody has posted a message. I'll uh, I'll come up to that. So uh, so so you have a scope of um, you know um, becoming an entrepreneur uh, into that uh, in that uh, domain. Okay. So if you have inefficiencies around you, the second important factor is is that scalable. मतलब कितने लोगों को वो problem है? सिर्फ आपको वो problem है कि एक लाख लोगों को problem है, दस लाख लोगों को problem है. एक करोड़ लोगों को प्रॉब्लम हाउ मेनी पीपल हैव दैट प्रॉब्लम हाउ मेनी पीपल आर सफरिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट इनफिशिएंसी दैट्स अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर सो इट शुड बी अ पेन इट शुड बी अ स्केल्ड पेन थर्ड डू यू हैव अ फिजिबल सॉल्यूशन फॉर दैट पेन ओके सो इफ दीस थ्री फैक्टर्स आर देयर यू हैव एन एब्सोल्युटली फैंटास्टिक स्कोप फॉर एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप ओके दैट देयर इज अ पेन इट्स अ पेन फॉर अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल एंड यू हैव अ फिजिबल सॉल्यूशन व्हिच कैन सॉल्व दिस पेन बस ये तीनों चीज अगर मिल गया आपको यू हैव एन एब्सोल्युटली फैंटास्टिक स्कोप फॉर एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप एंड आई थिंक ये तो भर भर के है फिशरीज में आई एम नॉट कनेक्टेड टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फिशरीज सिंस लॉन्ग एंड यू नो नॉट ग्रास रूट लेवल में इतना कनेक्शन नहीं है बट व्हाटएवर आई रिकॉल एंड व्हाटएवर टॉक्स आई हैव विद सम ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स यू नो देयर आर कैंस एंड कैंस एंड ड्रम्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इफ देयर आर कैंस एंड कैंस एंड ड्रम्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स You have cans and cans and drums of potential scope for doing entrepreneurship in the world of fisheries. Okay, great. So it's making sense, or am I boring? It's Give very interesting, toast. sir. Very yeah, interesting. Yeah. No, professor. Professor, yes. that's the you saying interesting doesn't matter. You know, it has to be coming up from the people um, you know for whom the talk is there. Students, so, please participate with it. You have to say, I, you know, you have a lot of josh. Okay. so let's get into yes very good niharika very good thank you so niharika has lot of josh very good dipen is again showing dipen is a student yeah oh very good okay so let me uh, let me uh, get into the dna आपको जेनेटिक्स जेनेटिक्स का कोई कोर्स होगा ना आपके वहां पे सो यू मस्ट बी हैविंग सम कोर्स ऑन बायोटेक्नोलॉजी और जेनेटिक्स तो वहां पे डीएनए पढ़ते हो तो डीएनए और अभी तो यू नो यू मस्ट बी आपको ये सारा क्या नाम यू नो योर कोविड के वर्ल्ड में यू हैव आरएनएस आल्सो सो एंड यू नो इवन जनरल पीपल आर गेटिंग अवेयर अबाउट इट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड यू नो एंड सो दे सो यू अंडरस्टैंड द डीएनए इज अ बेसिक कोड ऑफ लाइफ राइट सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द बेसिक कोड what makes the dna of an innovator or an entrepreneur right so let's look at you know some of you would like to throw some uh, idea that what makes a entrepreneur what makes an entrepreneur what is the basic ingredients which makes an entrepreneur who what are the common characteristics of people who become uh, good entrepreneurs ayush he stands out very good abhinav very good absolutely fantastic now i am very very joshi you know now i have a lot of josh so ludhiana reminds me of bhangra yaar i mean you know it, it's not good to talk on online i can't do a bhangra i can't you know it uh, you know your makke di roti and you know it's it's very boring yaar yeah job provider not a job seeker great so let let me take you yeah he's versatile and flexible fantastic okay, great guys a so, uh, person that focuses on a problem very good so let let me give you people who don't want to work alone but take many people along with them absolutely fantastic okay let me let me see you know what what does it uh, uh, involves okay so an entrepreneur is usually so some of you refer to pain uh, and therefore you know to uh, to realize that pain you have to be you have to have high on empathy so one of the common ingredients in entrepreneurs are usually they have the ability to realize the pain of the customer realize the pain of the farmer realize the pain of the people around them realize the pain that people are facing because of an inefficiency 
Okay, so you you understand now, no? Why I was referring the entrepreneur as Krishna? He has to get pained because of the people, um, you know, seeing the people who are living under the rule of Kansa, right? So if the people are living who are living in an inefficient ecosystem, the entrepreneur uh, has to uh, has to feel that pain. Okay, so he's he has empathy. Second, he has the ability to challenge the status quo. So I remember uh, one of your uh, students, Deepin, talked about challenging the status quo or something. So challenging the status quo is again a very important political skill or ability that they have. Third is taking risk, that they know to take risk. They have the ability to do something which others have not been able to do. Fourth, they have good abilities to network. Okay. And uh, uh, the next one is that they question, they question a lot of uh, people. Uh, they question a lot of things around them. They they have they have curiosity in their mind, uh, and that is again a very important and in, uh, you know, you, uh, common uh, characteristic of people who become entrepreneurs and good innovators. This next point is they are very good observers. They are absolutely fantastic observers. A lot of innovation has happened, including you know theory of evolution has happened because of observational skills of the person involved in that. So they are very good absorb, uh, observers. Uh, this, uh, the next point is experimenting, that they're good experimenters. They don't, uh, they, they don't feel bad to experiment and fail. And uh, they can constantly experiment. And last is associative thinking. Associative thinking means you can motivate you know, you can borrow ideas and mix ideas and pull it together. Uh, and that is the reason why I'll show you, you know, like what is happening in agri-tech. So that will give you a clue that if it's happening in agri-tech, uh, several of those ideas can be borrowed and you can do it in fisheries as well, right? So today I will not encourage and motivate you to, you know, do a pond and then put some fish and fingerlings in that and do a nursery pond. I will take you the world of doing technology in fisheries, right? Can you do a Google in fisheries? Can you do a Facebook in fisheries? And by Google and Facebook, I mean, can you do a large, huge technology firm which can support and help um, the aqua world, right? So that's how, how, where I want your dream to fly. Okay, obviously, you know, some of the things which are traditional models of doing farming, etc. Cetera, et cetera, that stays. That, that's also something which, can, which you can certainly do. But uh, I would like you to borrow from other world of entrepreneurship and try and think that how, what can I do in the world of um, aqua culture in the world of fisheries, right? So associative thinking is something which also uh, is critical and important. So why did I bring this point up? One of the reasons of bringing this point up is this can be a self-check. Then you don't need to go for a certification from somebody. You can consider yourself as having, as having the skills of entrepreneurship, okay? Uh, that is an important skill usually entrepreneurs need to have because you have to be a salesman as well. Then you have the skills of an innovator, right? So you can take this as a checklist that do I have entrepreneurship skills or not? This can itself be a checklist of figuring out do you have entrepreneurship skills or not? Second, you can use it another way that if you think that you do not have none of these or some of these, you can build your skill around that. If you build your skill around those kind of skills, it will help you to become a better entrepreneur. It will reduce your chances of failure when you're getting into entrepreneurship, right? So that is how you may like to use this slide. Good, let me see where people are. Google has already come up into agriculture career. Great. So Deepin has a lot of information and uh, you know it feels good. So Deepin, I will like to have some uh, you know, quick bit of um, you know some inputs from you when I finish the talk. Okay, so now let's see you know what is happening uh, in the world of. Uh, so what is happening in the world? Sorry, what is happening? What is the scope for entrepreneurship in India? Just a quick bit of numbers, right? So India is already the second largest uh, startup ecosystem in the world. And my second largest, how do you map second largest, you know, number of startups which are happening, the amount, number of, uh, 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 you know, uh, jobs uh, that is being created by startups, you know, the amount of funding that is happening, 
what is the kind of activity which is happening so india is already the second largest startup ecosystem in the world and this has largely happened in last 10 12 years and therefore you are living in the best possible time in, you know leave the covid part uh, leave the decode that is happening leave the degrowth that is happening in the covid uh, environment uh, but um, it says it's a fantastic time so any of the participants that i'm talking to um, you know who is thinking of doing an entrepreneurship i think it's a fantastic time to really experiment um, so uh, so so that way uh, you know um, you know never in the world of indian uh, you know budget announcements we had something called put startup pelax nux announcement this has started from 2014 15 onwards so last four or five years, now you have a department of entrepreneurship in government of India. So all of that signals you that entrepreneurship and startup is gaining a lot of traction and importance in India. In last five years alone, there has been uh, you know, 26,000 startups. Now these are registered ones. Jo aapko registered nahi hote, usko to chodi do, right? So these are registered startups, okay? And these are largely tech startups. So obviously non-tech and non-registered are even much more. Uh, we have now 33,000 department, uh, you know, um, you know, DP, IIT uh, uh, startups uh, and uh, 40,000 active startups are there. And these are again, uh, I'm talking about tech startups. So, if you have non-tech traditional startups, so that makes the number go even higher. Now, let's look at India is now housed to 34 unicorns. 34 unicorn ka hai 115 billion dollar and unka valuation hai 115 billion and just think of the number 115 billion dollar matlab almost uh, Tata Sons Tata Sons ka valuation ke barabar ka company hai ye Nestle ka naam you know you are from Punjab and you must have you know aapke wahan pe aas mein Moga karke ek town hai and um, you know this is house to one of the largest food companies of the world unke kaafi sare factories hain nestle and uh, this company uh, is uh, uh, you know more than 100 billion dollars so we are talking about almost the last 10 12 saal mein if we combine all the startup that is the size of company which has got built up usko sare ek jagah kar de hum so 34 unicorn unicorn is a name which is given to Startups whose valuation is more than one billion dollar. One billion dollar ka matlab hai saath hazar crore valuation. So you know, so for example, you know, abhi apni Baiju ka naam suna hoga. So Baiju has a valuation of more than I think it's a decacorn. So thus uh, ten billion dollars ki upper valuation hai. Flipkart apko pata hai ki you know how at what valuation it got sold off to Walmart. Bees billion dollar valuation me bika hai. So you just think of the numbers. That what numbers are we talking about? Right, um, and what is the potential that Indian startup ecosystem is showing? 2022 tak startups hain jo unicorn ban sakte hain. Usko hum soon unicorn kehte hain. Jo soon unicorn banne wale hain. Very soon, the companies which are probably going to become unicorns, we have about 52 of them. Ab, yeah, mute by audio. Mute kar diya video jo hai. Hamari video. Yeah. And uh, so, and another interesting thing happening around is uh, we have a rapidly increasing startup ecosystem. And this ecosystem is now going beyond top tier cities, right? So, Abhi, it's not limited necessarily to NCR or Bom Mumbai or Pune or, you know, um, Bangalore. It's moving, uh, it's moving to much smaller towns and smaller, uh, you know, smaller places. Okay. Now, let's look at uh, what is happening in the uh, agri-tech in India. So in agri-tech, uh, you know, fantastic stuffs are happening since last five or six years. Now, I'll give you a couple of my known and friends, uh, the ki kind of guys who are coming to agri-tech. So one of my friends uh, who is, was uh, CEO of Paytm Mall. You have heard of Paytm, suna hoga na? Paytm you, some of you might be using. So uh, Paytm Mall ka jo CEO, the, so he's uh, Amit Sinha. And he has been in the founding, almost in the founding team of Paytm. He is the per, one person who is starting an agri-tech startup. So you can understand that agri-tech is now flavor of the town. Abhi jada tar investment India mein next 5-7 saal mein jo hoga, it, enormous amount of money is going to be 
invested on agri technologies okay and you see why i have put up this uh, you know excel you know this table is ye sara pain point to my understanding fisheries may be have volatility in input prices suboptimal input selection limited access to technology for efficient farming or efficient aquaculture isko khali aap control f market jo agriculture wala point hai usko hata dijiye okay and i think you have absolutely similar kind of issues inefficient post harvest technologies okay lack of access to financial solutions all your farmers um, you know in spite of all the subsidies and everything that you do uh, there are leakages and not everybody may not be getting that so all these issues are there in all these pain points are there in fishing that way so anything that is happening in the agri tech domain can happen in this domain as well and you see the market potential this is these are indian market potential okay so we are talking about 4 billion dollar in lack of financial access solution post harvest technology mein 12 billion dollar 12 billion dollar ka matlab hai 12 into 7000 84000 crore ka market hai 84000 crore only in post harvest technology okay so absolutely fantastic you know scope so what what is happening right now you have about more than 1000 active agri tech companies in india uh 238 of them are angel and vc funded there are a lot of impact investors so for example one of the investors that i know is omnivore venture capital they invest only in agriculture oriented firms they have actually funded one of the uh, aquatech firm as well uh, based somewhere in andhra pradesh right so so when you so what is happening in agri tech what you are actually doing is you are using digital technologies to solve pains in you know that has been identified either in production input the production input matlab kali feed mat samjhe production input ka matlab hai finance knowledge network any other input services okay and then can you use digital technologies to improve farm management can you use digital technologies to improve harvesting can you use digital technologies to manage post harvest management can you use digital technologies for market matching okay and we are looking at an estimated potential of 25 billion dollars so 25 billion dollars ka matlab hai 25 into 7000 just think of the market size okay huge enormous it's going to explode and what do we do we usually focus on data digitization data analytics machine learning artificial intelligence iot software as service and absolutely stuff right and why i'm again bringing this is i mean tomorrow if you are able to do the world of fisheries will not be only just getting into the pond and checking the health of the fish like uh, you know we have been seeing for last 20 years it's going to be you know phenomenally different if you can do it good it's looking good we are closing to fisheries now okay so last whatever 10 minutes or so we'll get into fisheries now why is it so exciting for fisheries now i may be wrong okay so some of the professors who are sitting here kuch galat rahe to isko aap nazar andaaz kar dijiye right so you are the experts i am just a uh, you know external person not knowing much about fisheries uh and uh, therefore you know but I, i i sense that these are usual problems which should be there in the world of fisheries and if these problems are there then um, and these opportunities are there then the then the potential to do startups and entrepreneurship in the world of fisheries and aquaculture is phenomenal right so one um there is a lot of talk around that rising protein demand so average income probably you know it's not well spread but average income for protein food is increasing in the world and fish is an easily digestible protein it's also a sustainable source of protein right so i was reading somewhere that it required 7 kg of feed to convert into 1 kg of uh, you know meat and you require 1 kg of feed to convert almost 1 kg of feed to convert it into 1 kg of fish so which means and uh, carbon footprint is of uh, of fish farming is um, or protein uh, you know fish protein is much lower than carbon footprint of any other meat source or any other protein source including your agri protein okay so that makes uh, you know in the world where we are so concerned about clean clean production and all uh, that makes fisheries fisheries an absolutely fantastic uh, you know candidate uh, to get into uh, uh, so to get into this uh, startup Uh, second uh, in, in importance of indian fisheries is increasing in the global fisheries world and importance of culture fisheries is also increasing and that increases the importance of bsc graduates 
okay that what can you do um, what can technically trained people can think and do about it third aqua entrepreneurship is not no more just farming ki aapko kahin se loan lena hai ek pokhar ya talab khareed you know khodna hai usme nursery pond karna hai usme rearing pond karna hai usme farming karna hai ye species karna hai common carp culture karna hai mix farming karna hai integrated farming karna hai that's not the only or you know wo rangin machliyon ka uh, you know business karna hai it's not just about that we are talking about doing technology based startups and you can you can be a paytm of tomorrow right in the world of fisheries can you want can you do that and would you like to do that i at least start dreaming dreaming is the first step sapne dekhna to pehle aap seekh lo no if you start uh, you know dreaming then that will give you wings and you know just one observation so i buy mutton at a price of about 6 700 kilo okay i buy chicken at about uh, you know dress chicken at about 160 to 200 rupees a kilo and when i go to buy filsha you cannot touch filsha khareed nahi sakte ho 1700 rupees a kilo hai luxury hai if you want to buy some of the you know variants which you used to get earlier clarius batracas magur bolte hai usko na 700 rupees a kilo hai and abas testudinius dekhi humko yaad hai abhi bhi 20 saal baad koi मछली उसको किलो डे आई बाय यू यू नो नो ना क्या है वो सिंगी ना क्या है कुछ मछली आई एम शोइंग आई आई नो नो लिटिल बिट ऑफ या या इट्स ओके राइट प्रोफेसर दत्ता ऑल नेम्स आर राइट नो या या एब्सोल्युटली सर यू स्टिल रिमेम्बरिंग so so that 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 is for so ye agar aap dekhoge, other sources of protein mein, ye scope to differentiate hai. Machli ke aap 50 recipe bana sakte ho. Aur recipe khali masala change karke nahi. right recipe matlab wo main ingredient change hota hai. when you when you make chicken you can make pya, do piazza chicken and tandoori chicken and this chicken but chicken remains same in fish you can actually change the main ingredient so the combinations that you can do is enormous huge and marketing may a principle hai ki if you can differentiate then you can charge premium so in the world of fisheries you have actually the scope to create luxury and uh, premiumness and uh, you can differentiate and all these hints that you have great scope uh, you know to oh i'm in time i was worrying about you know maybe i'm exceeding so there are 8 minutes no 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 you can minutes. continue sir you can continue please so all of you are uh, finding it exciting or should i stop i am not getting you know your josh all of you finding it interesting or should i stop students no no faculty <laughs> we continue sir it's nice okay. sir so so the last point uh, that i mentioned is just a personal observation okay and you know because we belong to the world of business as well as strategy and all उसी से अंदाजा मिल जाता है कि इसमें तो स्कोप है कुछ करने का अगर कोई एक किलो का फिश जब आप मछली बेच मतलब यू नो इफ यू आर सेलिंग मीट एट प्राइस ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज किलो एंड सम अदर वैरायटी ऑफ फिश इज गेटिंग सोल्ड एट सेवन सेवनटीन हंड्रेड रुपीज किलो पीपल आर नाउ एक्सपोर्टिंग फिश यू नो हिलसा फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश टू लखनऊ जस्ट थिंक ऑफ दू नो यू नो पोटेंशियल तो यू हैव एब्सोल्यूटली स्कोप ऑफ चार्जिंग प्रीमियम राइट सो दैट that gives us a sense that you have absolutely exciting potential to do startups uh, in fisheries okay great abhinav yadav yeah good so let's see what's happening so just these are just some um, you know some uh, slides to encourage you but this is not the only um, thing which is happening so aquaculture ke duniya mein bhi ab unicorn aa gaya hai unicorn ka matlab hai 7000 crore ka valuation okay so there are three unicorns globally and i have mentioned name of two so you can just check what kind of stuffs they are doing so one is innova feed okay so innova feed produces it's a biotech company which produces new source of protein from insect hermitia eleutherians karke ek insect banati hai wo and that is fed largely uh, for aquaculture uh, feeding Uh, this company has been founded in 2017 3 saal ke andar wo 7000 crore ka company bana 3 saal ke andar okay second company sapphire energy so it is uh, you know it's making fuel from algae 
and uh, they have tested it on you know a lot of cars this that etc it's a biofuel based on algae to ab samundar mein kheti kijiye aur wahan se tel banaiye aur bechiye and tel to sona hai right so you can you know earn a lot of cash aap dubai ke sheik ban sakte hain okay so that's the potential that you can have from fisheries and this company was this is one of the hottest biofuel companies in the world now, all the who's and who's of the world of investors have invested in this company and this was founded only in 2017 7 tera saal mein 7000 crore okay and um, so 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 enormous potential right this is to showcase you and uh, i am pretty confident that you know once the agri tech boom starts maturing um, you will see even an aqua tech boom aur abhi aap jaldi jaldi jaag jao nahi to baki jo bahar wale hai fisheries ke bahar ke duniya ke jo log hai wo ghus jayenge है ना डोंट डेंट क्राई बी एफ एस सी को चाहिए बी एफ एस सी को चाहिए बी एफ एस सी को कोटा चाहिए नहीं हल्ला करना है यू जम्प अराउंड एंड टेक दैट स्पेस एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल अदरवाइज पीपल फ्रॉम आई आई टीज विल कम एंड डू एंड टू शिपिंग एट वोकल सो यू राइज अप गुड सो लेट सी वॉट्स मोर इज हैपनिंग इन दी वर्ल्ड ऑफ यू नो इको यू नो सपोर्टिंग स्टाफ हैपनिंग अराउंड इको सिस्टम so i am just mentioning couple of them so now we have a uh, special investment fund globally called aqua spark jo sustainable aquaculture mein fund karti hai to aapke paas agar bahut interesting kuch idea hai sustainable aquaculture mein you can send it to these guys this is an a netherland based uh, investment fund um, india mein bhi a lot of uh, impact investment fund hai ek mujhe pata hai omnivore vc uh and they are fantastic guys and i know some of them and they are doing they are doing fantastic kind of uh, you know investments in startups you have an acceleration program to ye jaise aap agar jo log startups ko follow karte there is a, is a program called y combinator then you know google and microsoft all of them run accelerator accelerator matlab wo speed program hai batch based program hai startup ko facilitate karne ke liye so now you have a aquaculture focused only aquaculture focused acceleration program okay and that is catalyzing fund and alternative seafood innovation okay ye sirf seafood innovation or the aqua you know seafood uh, sea based farming ko catalyze karne ke liye uh, hai and um, fantastic stuff and that tells you what is happening uh, in in the world of aquatech abhi nabard ne ek nab ventures karke banaya hai which is again funding uh, early stage agri tech companies and unke jo panch chhe uh, focus areas hai aquaculture usme se ek hai right so again if you have fantastic interesting idea you can talk to these nab venture guys and there is scope for funding which means not just that you can approach some of the general you know people who or um, jahan pe aap us kuch help ke liye aage ja sakte hain you have now specialized services uh vcs and angel investors and uh, you know accelerators um, who are uh, who are uh, coming up in the world of fisheries and that tells you uh, what is happening in the world of fisheries okay so uh with that i think i am quite in time you know 58 good so the next slide that i want to bring up is ju just uh, abhi aapke wo pankh lagane ke liye humne sab kuch de diya hai to abhi pankh lagega uske liye ye slide hai can you build the next google in fishes i don't want you to dig up a pond and you know uh, you know bar bar jaise main bata raha hu wo bhi kar sakte ho but can you build the next google in fishes google is a metaphoric word the reason i am saying google in fisheries is can you do a large technology firm in fisheries and how do you do it you figure out the entire value chain of fish farming whether it's a uh, you know mariculture or um, you know inland culture whether it's uh, you know uh, farming or it's uh, you know um, fishing in the sea waters Look into the entire value chain. शुरू से लेके अंत तक कौन लोग इन्वॉल्व है और उसमें क्या क्या प्रोसेस चलता है इस पूरे प्रोसेस में लोगों की दुर्दशा कहाँ पे है कहाँ पे पेन है कैन सम ऑफ दीज पेन बी बेटर मैनेज थ्रू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इफ यू कैन डू दैट एंड इफ यू हैव अल्यूशन फॉर दैट यू हैव अ पोटेंशियल समथिंग लाइक गूगल इन योर हैंड एंड देन यू डोंट नीड टू फाइट विद Your state governments, क्या हमें BFSC वाला नौकरी दे, okay? 
आप कहोगे कि आप खाली स्टूडेंट प्रोड्यूस करो नौकरी तो हम देंगे राइट सो ऑन दैट नोट लेट मी क्लोज द टॉक इट्स जस्ट इलेवन सो आई एम ऑन टाइम नो and uh, we yep. can take up a couple of uh, couple of queries uh, from you uh, if you have uh, anything to yeah. ask uh, thank you thank you sir uh, it was a very interesting talk very innovative and informative also uh, so i would like to request our students kindly interact with sir it's a golden opportunity hmm. so please one by one you raise and you ask questions dear students you can unmute yourself sir uh students uh, you can unmute yourself and uh, and interact any students actually uh, there there are some question they send to me yeah. directly some yeah, yeah. Sure, students sure, yeah, yeah. yeah after so, after bfc what are the opportunities are there they can uh, do in the business like after related to fisheries come again professor jitendra ab ek bar fir se batayi uh, uh, they are asking after bfc what are the fisheries related business they can start Fisheries related business मतलब क्या है वन तो वन obviously is the things that you have you know for example you know आप वो जो aquarium fish है उसके around कर सकते एक company देख सकते हैं Lysias करके है this is a Bangalore based company you just see the amount of funding they have raised and the kind of business they are doing and uh, along with uh, dressed meat they are also selling dressed fishes वो रोहू का मछली बेच रहे हैं कल देखा मैंने आपको ये टॉक देने के लिए जस्ट सर्च अ लिटिल बिट दे सेलिंग रोहू एट सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज ड्रेस्ड ऑनलाइन में ऑर्डर करेंगे आप सो एनी एनी थिंग दैट यू वांट टू सर्व टू द मार्केट यू नो यू कैन गेट इनटू द स्पेशलाइज्ड डोमेन ऑफ अभी आपको जो रंगीन मछली का बिजनेस है वो छोटे छोटे दुकान से होता है कैन यू पुट ऑल दो छोटा छोटा दुकान इन एप and then uh, you know give people jaise log gaadi ka order karte hain jaise log you know amazon se order karte hain can you put up some of these markets on you know e-commerce could be one of the ones right so and i'm not getting into the domains which already you know you know because of your bfsc course all i'm saying is anything that you are seeing around you happening beyond the field of fisheries in the world of startups uska kaun sa element leke aap fisheries me la sakte ho i think that is one option that you can go for second option is you know one way to do something uh, in the world of um, business is trying to think beyond your boundaries to jo log aap startups mein jana chahte ho sabse pehle dimag se khayal nikal do ki bfc ke baad hi naukri mein ghusna hai hai na ki aur third year se chinta karna hai ki humko job milega ki nahi job milega ki nahi job milega ki nahi kaun sa job milega so you start planning for bigger dreams in life and um, then you should be getting the answer yourself and aap thoda search karo net pe search karo fisheries aquatech mein kahan kahan kya companies ho raha hai ye jo do naam aapko bataya maine hatch aur jo jo dusra aapko company ka naam bataya jo startup kar rahi hai startup ko facilitate kar rahi hai omnivore ka naam bataya unke site pe jao aap aur dekho ki what kind of startups are they supporting that will give you idea as to what kind of startups can you do um uh, and i am saying things which are beyond uh, beyond the world of basic uh, farming right so and farming mein jo hai wo to hai hi hai i remember i don't remember uh, one of the graduates you know uh, he was very poor in studies and he is making the most amount of money you know i he is from west bengal university of animal and fishery sciences i don't remember he is from professor surya's batch or couple of batch yeah, of shivraj uh, singh mr shivraj mr shivraj yes, singh he is yeah. making loads of money yeah. just by doing basic farming yeah, yeah. okay mm. he he was he struggled to pass any of these courses but yeah. he learned the basics ki paisa kaise banana hai machli paal ke aur machli bech ke now i think more than crores of rupees he is earning he is earning crores of rupees right so yeah. uh, 
तो मतलब आप इधर जा सकते हो और बिना रॉकेट साइंस लगाए जो आप बेसिक सीख रहे हो यू कैन यू कैन डू दैट सॉइल टेस्टिंग सर्विस में आप जा सकते हो वाटर टेस्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड वाटर टेस्टिंग सर्विस में जा सकते हो नॉलेज शेयरिंग सर्विस में जा सकते हो यू कैन लुक एट दिस एनी अदर क्वेरीज फ्रॉम एनी अदर पार्टिसिपेंट दे कैन डायरेक्टली इंटरेक्ट टू एवरीबॉडी या सर हां सर एक्चुअली आई एम फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर डॉक्टर इम्तियाज यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज यस सर एक्चुअली आई एम फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर this time yeah, please, it's it's uh, snowing here since the morning and that's why we are feeling interruption in the internet connections that's why uh, you are not able to hear me properly i think no i know i we, i can hear you you go ahead with your question okay so yeah i'm working here as assistant professor in fisheries college uh i want to ask you one thing since uh, as far as our uh, scenario of uh, kashmir valley is concerned we don't have so much of fish species mm. available here as rest of the country uh, does have mm. and uh, one problem uh, with us is uh, to culture and to rear those fisheries those indigenous fishes in captivity to wo survive nahi kar pati hain jab hum unko culture ke liye karte hain kuch fishes hain which we are able to culture here so uh, so when it comes to the entrepreneurship for our uh, bfscs or mfsc students what can be your point of view that how we can switch over to other things in fisheries only which will help them to get uh, themselves as uh, capable entrepreneurs and to find uh, uh, earnings from them for themselves as far as uh, kashmir scenario is concerned उसमें so you can uh, you know uh, look at exploiting that market opportunity right so you have you know if you have production happening and you don't require to produce there always to do an entrepreneurship right for example man lijiye agar yahan pe baith ke humko akrot bechna hai ab iske liye hame akrot lakhnau mein thodi ugana hai i'll get akrot from uh, intias so as simple as that right so if there are consumers to buy that what can i do to uh, feed those consumers can i do processed uh, stuff can i procure from somewhere else and then you know do do that stuff and do that is one direction which i can think of okay i think professor uh, dr prabjit also wanted yeah to yeah about. he is also uh, from uh, kashmir yeah uh, uh, professor uh, uh, i'm very good morning it was a very interesting uh, lecture i'm dr prabjit working as an assistant professor with uh, same department as of professor surja uh, dr imtiaz uh, can you hear me oh uh, yes 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 sir uh, dr imtiaz uh, uh, I, i do agree with you that we have uh, limited resources as far as fish diversity is concerned uh, and particularly culture sector but let me tell you that kashmir is growing a fish kashmir is rightly uh, presently growing a fish which is like a delicacy all over the globe i am talking about trout fish so what our students what our kashmir students can go let me tell you that recently i got a call from one of the entrepreneur he has adopted a novel way it is you can search on the social media it is trout kashmir something like that what they are doing is that they are delivering dressed trout around badgam your shrinagar some of the area so we we have a number of entrepreneurs and one more thing uh, ornamental business is coming up uh, in our jnk state so we can train our although climate is a constant but still uh, if i am not wrong I, uh, you have one already one of your alumni is a success entrepreneur successful entrepreneur in ornamental fishery fisheries also so we can we can train our students and we can motivate them towards towards delivering the ready to eat products 
and uh, uh, and you know we are we are meat lovers like anything uh, non veg lovers and uh, value addition uh, we have a great scope and you are getting a lot of fish although we don't have a surplus of indian major carps or other fishes and uh, and i believe a kashmiri customer if it is a quality he will not desist from paying even 500 or 600 and 700 any any price is not a thing so in that way we can motivate our students processing ornamental fisheries value addition of trout and even not value addition just dressing it in a proper condition and delivering uh, through some uh, market chain yes uh, yeah, thank you dr prajit uh, you have uh, disseminated uh, good information uh, although it was already uh, into my knowledge but this might be of very uh, help to the other listeners as well here yeah. but uh, one thing uh, i just wanted to uh, confirm yeah. from sir yeah. is actually uh, what my point was that there are not opportunities uh, here in kashmir prevalent as uh, the opportunities no doubt I, i do agree i do agree because yeah, we, we have limited number of opportunities but, but we can tap other things like see value addition and processing can be tapped like anything So, uh, so, so you agree? Like, like fish pickle is a big, big opportunity. That too in winters when we let have severe and harsh winters. Let me let so me come. Yeah, so raw, yeah. Raw meat yeah. can be a constraint, but if any person is coming up, he he can tie up with Jammu is a nearby state, and all the fish gets transported from uh, Jammu to uh, this uh, Punjab to Jammu. So we we sir, have actually, to sir it's not only the value addition sir let me complete sir actually sir there are lot okay, of yeah. things yeah, which yeah. are going in my mind number one constraint is the climate obviously but mm-hmm. uh, number second constraint is what what this time which is prevalent in kashmir is that in in rest parts of the country we have the entrepreneurs who uh, get lakes who get water bodies who get natural aquatic ecosystems on lease in which they can perform cultural practices and uh, facilitate lot of production lot of fishes mm-hmm. to the market right. beat prawns beat beat any any fish and some fish same side all but, but but that's not case in fisheries here uh, mm-hmm. in, in 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 kashmir mm-hmm. therefore there is a constraint that uh, despite we have so much of uh, Uh, aquatic ecosystems okay. available here we are not able to utilize them as far as fisheries point of view is concerned number one number two is there is uh, a problem for youth to culture fishes is it mm-hmm. therefore if our fishes um, if our state is devoid of any cultural practices mm-hmm. we won't have uh, ample number uh, a number of fish available which mm-hmm. will be used for value addition for post harvest for anything else hmm. number next number third is what you talked what what you talked about that we should uh, transport fishes from jammu then make fish pickles here make fish sausages here and make other by products which are prevalent in the market that will have a, a cost effective uh, values as, uh, in a, in consultation as well but, but jab aap jab aap jab aap carry on then i'll we'll discuss in the uh, jab aap 200 kilo ke 200 rupaye ki ya 300 rupaye ki mashli wahan se le rahe hain you are processing it here and it will turn out to be 500 rupees or 600 rupees or 700 rupees one kg आपको सामने मार्केट वैल्यू भी होना चाहिए कि जो आपको ये सात सौ रुपए के जी या छह सौ रुपए के जी लेने वाला वही है और जब जैसे आपने बात की कि यहाँ पर वन गाय विच हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड कश्मीर ट्राउट हु इज डिलीवरिंग ट्राउट ऑल ओवर द स्टेट दिस टाइम यस आई हैव टू कनेक्शन विद हिम और मैंने उससे भी कई बार ट्राउट लिए हैं एंड देर आर टू टेस्टी but these instances are very uh, few because because ke aapka jo trout uh, production hai that 95% of the trout production is uh, molded by state fisheries only mm-hmm. and there are not uh, ample opportunities for local uh, farmers or local mm-hmm. people who will uh, culture trout who will develop mm-hmm. trout and who will mm-hmm. sell them to the market uski wajah ye hai ki yahan par jo water bodies hai that are being controlled by uh, uh, the, the government authorities which won't allow uh, which won't allow you to cult- make cultural practices in those water bodies these are the concerns which are associated ah. with it yeah, ah, right, right. Uh, regarding regarding ornamental fisheries again we have a point that 
for uh, developing an or- ornamental fishes uh, we have an uh, alumni here uh, who is making aquariums wagaira magar usko fishes bhi kahan se milengi so again the same thing is that you have to culture ornamental fishes as well mm-hmm. which we have constrained this time uh, see uh, dr inchas uh, can uh, can we have a discussion on this anchor and because uh, many other audiences will have a question yeah yeah so can yeah. can we have a one to one discussion later on this okay i'll come 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 one by one on your points okay okay thank you okay dr prabhuji thank you uh, yeah. dr imtiaz thank you <clears throat> so uh, i request other students please join um, dr datta when we are done you can please give a chance to dr imtiaz i will discuss one by yeah, one yeah 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 please 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 yeah students yeah. so uh, so shubhpreet kaur has a question shubhpreet can you put on your mic and uh, put this question up specifically and uh, so so that other people also hear it shubhpreet kaur shubhpreet kaur first unmute yourself i think okay so supreet is saying me. that um, you know we something like this that uh, we want to de- we desire to earn 35 more than 35000 per month and um, what opportunities are there for girls because it's very difficult for girls to move from one place to another um shupreet my answer would be you know so because um all i wanted you through this talk is dream beyond what your existing boundaries are whether it's t- in terms of 35000 rupees or in terms of ideas that you're thinking about think um, you know just look around yourself what what are people doing in startups um beyond the field of fisheries draw some inspiration from there and figure it out if you can do something in that direction and um, you know so uh, the more troubles that you speak about greater is the opportunity to make something happen you know so for example you know you know just pulling in from the previous discussion agar itna aasan hota to everybody will become an entrepreneur no only because the problems are hard it requires an entrepreneur to get in kans ko sab thodi maar sakte hain right kans sir right maarne ke liye krishna hi chahiye na right absolutely absolutely true sir to krishna yeah. aapko krishna ban ke us problem ko tackle karna hai google doesn't get created mm-hmm. by everybody mujhe lagta hai sir jahan pe jahan pe constraints hoti hain wahan pe zyada opportunities khulti hain that is what i wanted to also communicate that that is hinting it requires a you know a very difficult problem to be solved and therefore yes. very, yes. all these scripts all this and that is what i refer to by scripts ye jo aapke dil mein problem hai ki hum kahan ja sakte hain kya kar sakte hain and uh, all of these problem that itself hints that there is an opportunity if you solve yes. for yourself you will and solve it for 10000 other girls absolutely true when problem is there you have to tap this means you have n number of opportunities so mera mera one of the objective was i was not so much information se ye thoda presentation sajaya tha my objective was to shift your mindset beyond your existing boundaries that right, was the exactly. main motive of the talk so yours yeah. was a very wonderful talk sir it has enlightened yeah. our students and us also yeah uh, good morning sir yeah mon mon yeah video can't be sir may i speak sir yes yes yeah yeah please Uh, first of all sir thank you so much sir for giving an opportunity to join me uh, in this webinar and i would like to thank you so much for a speaker dr uh, sinha sir for his excellent and uh, informative webinar sir uh, uh, let me introduce me first uh, i am manmohan kumar phd research scholar in aquaculture from icar cif mumbai sir uh, actually <coughs> suppose we young wants to start a startup and uh, even uh, we have link uh, connections also with some uh, startups but some funding is one of the major problem sir so how to arrange funding means uh, uh, i have very little knowledge and less knowledge to regarding this sir kindly enlighten about this okay so it's a sponsors I, I, a sponsor and funding agency sir funding agencies aapke paas 5000 rupees hai 10000 rupees hai kitna rupees hai 
हाँ सर उतने तो हो जाएंगे सर इतने हो जाएंगे बताइए ना हमें Uh, हो जाएंगे सर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वन लैक ऐसे तो अरेंज कर सकते हैं पांच हजार दस हजार करोड़ की कंपनियां बनी है जिनका इनिशियल पांच हजार रुपया था दस हजार रुपया था जी जी कैन यू बाई यू नो हंड्रेड के जी ऑफ फिश एंड सेल इन दार्केट यस सर कर सकते हैं ना तो वॉट आई एम हिंटिंग इज यू नो सो बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन आई गेट यही फंडिंग वाला क्वेश्चन मुझे बहुत मिलता है Mm-hmm. Funding is the last issue that needs to be taken care of. Funding cannot be the first issue. People who don't do it use funding as an excuse. पचास हजार रुपए ये जो आपको आप एक मच मतलब you know you you stay in CP Mumbai. Yes sir. आप आपके आसपास वो मछलियों का मंडी होगा बहुत सारा. You mm-hmm. go and check their operational capital. You will find people who are earning one lakh per month, or its operational capital is fifty thousand. Operational capital means that. Actually... So what I'm meaning, see, because I cannot answer you straight. That here, go and get funding. Milega. You try to catch what is what I'm saying. If you want to do something, you have to start small. Okay? Because today you cannot. But the fisheries has the advantage. Hai, you can approach Nabad. You can go to a local bank and talk about it. You can find out what they are doing. तो आपको पता नहीं है पहले तो यू नो यू आर पी एच डी गायर यू यू नो टू डू रिसर्च ओके रिसर्च मतलब इज बेसिकली सर्चिंग फॉर समथिंग सो इफ यू डोंट नो व्हाट पॉलिसीज द गवर्नमेंट हैज क्रिएटेड व्हाट आर द फैसिलिटीज दैट बैंक्स आर गिविंग इन ऑर्डर टू यू नो प्रमोट यू नो एनी काइंड ऑफ स्टार्टअप स्पेशली इन एग्री एंड फिशरीज देयर विल बी लॉट ऑफ अदर स्कीम्स व्हिच आर हैपनिंग अराउंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम हैव यू एक्सप्लोर्ड ओके इफ यू हैव नॉट देन इट इज नॉट बिकॉज़ ऑफ फंडिंग राइट right? आपके पास पचास यू नो फॉर एग्जांपल इवन बाय आई विल टेल यू व्हाट द सब्जी वाला व्हाट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी अ सब्जी वाला मेक्स आई गिव यू इकोनॉमिक्स एंड दैट विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड पचास हजार में आप क्या क्या कर सकते हैं द सब्जी वाला हु कम्स टू माय कैंपस ही सेल्स सब्जीज टू ओनली 100 और 150 और पीपल यू नो हिज एनुअल टर्नओवर सॉरी मंथली टर्नओवर टर्नओवर मतलब कितने का धंधा करते हैं पूरे महीने में कितना होगा So when you okay. want Sorry, to do sir. that, you know why I was why I gave you the example of sabji ka thela is, and there is actually a thela guy. Okay, Patna me there is an MBA gold medalist from IIM Ahmedabad who had set up vegetable ka thela. Okay, Koshalendra Kumar. आप उसके बारे में थोड़ा search करके देखिए. And he is running a agri support agri support system startup. Uh, Uh, I I don't recall the name, um, but Kaushalendra Kumar MBA Patna search करेंगे तो बहुत उसमें news मिल जाएगा. So ये example what I gave you is you have to think what all things can I do with this fifty thousand before going कि कौन मुझे funding करेगा. Nobody will fund you before they see that you have done what have you done. आपको कोई project का funding देते हैं अच्छे से plan बनाने से पहले. आप अगर बैठे रहेंगे कि मुझे funding देगा तो हम project बनाएंगे. The project will never happen. Okay, so I think there is a lot, lot to do uh, with that fifty thousand. You have to start something, show that I have, I am risk taker, show that I can do something, and then if you take it to couple of people, जैसे मैंने बताया ना आप आप देखिए omnivore VC search करके देखिए, they have funded lot of agri based companies, including an aquaculture based company. Um, then आपको जो जो impact impact investor करके search करके देखिए, so there are Avishkar Capital करके है, they give impact investment. तो आप ले जैसे मान लीजिए फिश फार्मर के लिए कुछ करना चाहते हैं जो मछलियां बेचते हैं उनके अराउंड कुछ करना चाहते हैं सो देयर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स व्हिच यू कैन डू यू हैव टू फिगर आउट वेयर व्हिच ऑल प्लेसेस बट ऑल आई एम सेइंग इज फर्स्ट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट डूइंग समथिंग देन समबडी विल कम एंड अप्रोच एंड यू कैन अप्रोच एंड कन्विंस देम दैट कैन यू गिव मी सम फंड ओके या थैंक यू सर सर कैन आई आस्क सर लिटिल मोर आई डोंट नो दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन या या मैम रो सर यू कैन आस्क मोर सर एक्चुअली सर मैं इंडलैंड एक्वाकल्चर पे वर्क कर रहा हूँ मेरा पीएचडी जो है वो है 
इट्स ऑप्टिमाइज ऑन स्टॉकिंग डेंसिटी एंड सेलिनिटी फॉर पीनियस विनामिक कल्चर इन लैंड एंड वाटर तो मैंने रोहतक में इसका एक्सपेरिमेंटल ट्रायल किया है और मुझे रिजल्ट्स भी बहुत अच्छे मिले हैं बट क्या है कि बिकॉज ऑफ कोरोना वायरस पैंडेमिक मैंने मेरा पीएचडी भी कंप्लीट नहीं हो पाया है तो अभी सर मैं उसको रिसर्च वर्क मेरा भी बाकी है मैं उसको कंप्लीट कर रहा हूं सर बट सर मैं फ्यूचर में प्लान कर रहा हूँ कि मैं इंडियन साइन एक कल्चर से रिलेटेड ही मतलब इंटरप्रीनरशिप में ही मतलब इंटरेस्टेड हूँ उसको कैसे करना है सर थोड़ा सा उसके बारे में फंडिंग के लिए मैं सोच रहा था कि अगर मैं वहाँ पर कुछ स्टार्टअप अपना स्टार्ट करूँ या किसी स्टार्टअप के साथ कोलाबरेट करके वर्क करूँ तो उसके लिए मैं थोड़ा सा सोच रहा था सर देखिए उसमें मल्टीपल तरीका है आपको उसमें फार्मिंग करना है कि फार्मिंग मैनेजमेंट को सपोर्ट करना है डू यू वांट टू इनेबल फार्मिंग और डू यू वांट टू डू फार्मिंग सर आई थिंक सर मैं फार्मिंग को मैनेजमेंट करना पसंद करूंगा सर वहां पे जो बहुत सारे फार्मर्स है हां टेक्निकल सपोर्ट के लिए करना फार्मिंग को मैनेजमेंट करना पसंद करेंगे तो आप देखिए पीनियस मोनोड्रम की खेती कहां पे होती है उनका प्रॉब्लम क्या है आपके पास टेक्नोलॉजी है मतलब आपसे नहीं खरीदेंगे वो You have to figure it out कि उस technology को आप क्या नाम से बेचेंगे right? So you have to build a prototype. आपका कुछ अगर किट होगा तो वो किट तैयार करना पड़ेगा वो किट जाके उनके पास दिखा के टेस्ट करना पड़ेगा दिखाना पड़ेगा देखना पड़ेगा कि आपका किट यूज करने से उनका मुनाफा कितना बढ़ता है तो आपका किट अगर तीन सौ रुपया है तो वो तीन सौ रुपया यूज करने से उनका मुनाफा हजार रुपया बढ़ना चाहिए तब आपको वो तीन सौ रुपया देंगे मोन मोन वी हैव विताज डॉक्टर प्रभजीत सिंह ही इज आल्सो एक्सपर्ट इन दिस सॉल्ट अफेक्टेड सेलाइन एरिया एंड ही इज डूइंग फैंटास्टिक सो आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस वन वी कैन डिस्कस आल्सो ओके जस्ट आई थिंक इट विल टेल सर जस्ट इन वन लेस देन वन मिनट आई विल मोन मोन सिंह सिंस आई एम वर्किंग ऑन सेलाइन वाटर एक्वाकल्चर पर्टिकुलरली स्ट्रीम फार्मिंग इन पंजाब लेट मी टेल यू यू कैन हैव माय नंबर एंड डिस्कस विद यू यू हैव एन नंबर ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज एन नंबर ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज in simple yeah uh, meanwhile any other question uh, and during the uh, presentation some of the delegates also joined dr ram narayan ram from pandagar university uh, dr deepak george uh, from australia dr divakar bhakt from cf sifri barakpur so i welcome all of these delegates and any other question i want to Take one or two question, then we can go for. I think, uh, Doctor Shukla, you can update R and Ram, and we can have a interaction with our uh, respected professor. Uh, I think Ram sir is not right. Left actually, uh, sir. Uh, left, I think. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, he's not here right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the, the, there are no more questions. So no more questions. So any question from our faculty, Doctor Grishma. Hasan sir, any anybody wants to? Otherwise, we can proceed for vote of. Okay. Doctor Doctor Amtiaz, we can have a discussion later. Uh, ah, after this one, discussion. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I I would like to request Doctor Jitender, please go for the formal vote of thanks. Okay. So thank you, sir. So uh, thank you uh, once again. The good morning. Uh, I uh, first of all, I would like thanks to Almighty God for. Uh, making this occasion the grand success, and uh, I'm grateful for having uh, given chance to extend my vote of thanks to everyone present here on behalf of College of Fisheries, Guru Angad Dev Veterinary Animal Science University. So we express our uh, sincere thanks to Dr. Sina sir from Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, uh, for enlightening us on scope of entrepreneurship development in uh, aquaculture and fisheries. so today webinar was the the full of knowledge and fantastic things and uh, the new idea came out from uh, this webinar so the emphasis was made by dr sina sir was like identifying the scope of uh, entrepreneurship especially and uh, he also pointed out the different opportunities available for fisheries and uh, in the sectors and the, the last it was like build google in fisheries that was the the major challenge for young generation fisheries graduates where they can build up with such a the wonderful ideas so i'm pretty sure that uh, whatever the knowledge sir you have provided give us will definitely help our students and thank you sir for enlightening us with your inspiring and motivational word we have a lot to learn from your uh, experience sir and definitely our student it will they will inculcate themselves and uh, make this knowledge in their future 
once again i would like thanks to dr sinha sir for taking out time for from his busy schedule and enlightening us with the knowledge thank you so much sir thank you so much it was a pleasure to interact with you i i would also like thanks to our respected uh, honorable vice chancellor sir dr indrajit singh sir dean college of uh, fisheries dr mira d ansal madam dean college of veterinary science dr s p s gumman sir and dr vinith inder kaur madam uh, from college of fisheries idp coordinator uh, for, for giving uh, permission to organize this webinar in the grand success and also i thanks to icr idp national agriculture higher education project for providing the all the financial support to conduct this webinar i would like thanks to organizing secretary dr s n datta sir and and uh, the coordinator ms samandeep kaur for making this event successfully and dignitaries the join from the different colleges and uh, attending this uh, webinar and providing their valuable time with us i would end my speech here thank you once again thank so you thank you be... dr jitender yeah no, we can go can for one for group uh, photo group photo so okay sir mandeep I... you can just capture it uh, okay sir uh, i request all the participants to switch on their webcams so that we can have a group photo please hold on for a second dear participants please hold on okay thank you so much all thank you for attending the session thank you sir once again so should we wind up the session yeah uh, it's almost over uh, okay. so thank you thank you all uh, thank you professor shobhashachi sina for accepting our invitation once again thank you thank you some thank you everyone yeah